Right, here's another idea that's been about 40 years in the making and wondering about. And uh, Here's the paper plane that I made, the RC one from the Peter Streepol video. Um, and I used this power pod to power that around. And I'll leave a link underneath if you've not seen that one, and indeed to Peter's video. But the other thing we used to play with as kids in the 70s were these. These flying gliders. And I've got no idea now. They always look bigger to me, I suppose, than they would do nowadays. I've not opened this one up. And um, you could get various models, of course. And they're the ones with the plastic piece on the front. And the, uh, the sort of fake propeller thing used to spin. And used to have great fun building flaps into them and ailerons and all sorts of stuff. Rudder and whatever. But just free flight, just throw them. And um, it just sort of appeals. Can one of these trundle around the sky with that thing underneath. I really don't know. Um, that's what I'm hoping to find out. Well, I just opened the packet and for a start something immediate was that, uh, well, it's slightly damaged on the side there, but should be able to be straightened out. It's not quite straight at the moment. Um, everything used to be foam and it used to be, the printing used to be on top, straight on top of the bare foam. This is different. So this is actually a different thing than I remember in the 1970s and I'm not even sure if they still make the originals. But I'm going to put the thing together, have a look at it. Um, it also looks smaller but of course it will do because I'm now 40 years older. And anyway, so I'll uh, build it up and have a look. <laughs> well this is hilarious. Oh man. Um, okay, so put the wing in the, in the horizontal stabiliser. Which is not horizontal in the slightest. What in the heck is going on there? I mean, what kind of crazy angle is that? I think I'm going to redo that and just, you know, give it a nice two or three degrees, not a nice 40 or 50 degrees. <laughs> wow. Oh dear. Right, it's time for the cutting torch. Oh, near enough. A knife anyway. And I'm going to uh, straighten it out across there. Wow, that is just bizarre. So there we go, it'll take a couple of minutes and if you have a look now between the angles of the wing and the tail it's a lot better. There's a couple of degrees down from the wing and then that's pretty much straight, that's the idea for that tail piece. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that off I guess because it weighs quite a bit, it weighs a couple of grams as it is and I'll tr put that on to where should be the centre of gravity of the plane which is going to be roughly about there I should imagine and make sure it balances and then see if it crashes in style. There we go, we've got the pod on there and you can see by the uh, corner of my fingernail perhaps uh, that's where the centre of gravity is now. So that should be about right, about 30% something like that. Uh, I can move it backwards and forwards anyway uh, by moving the power pod. But that's how I'm going to try it. Right, place your bets. I'll take it down the field and I'll record the crashes if it does. It's worth a laugh, isn't it? So, who got that right? I know I didn't. That thing has got no right flying like that, has it? And you might have noticed on the first bit of the footage there was some wing rock at the end of it, and it had a fair bit of that when I first did some test glides. So I put a little bit of uh, dihedral in on the wings, and that seemed to sort it out. And then 
I went to fly it and the thing was just ridiculously good. So um, yeah, it's just seven and a half inches wingspan, about seven and a half again on the front to back. I'm just in shock really, that was a great experience, a lot of fun. Okay, thanks for watching.